We went to Colorado for the weekend and we had such a great time and we want to just recap our weekend, what we did, what we liked about our trip, anything that we would recommend to do differently, all of that. So let's just dive right in to kind of say like what our plan was and what we did. Yeah, so I mean we definitely went into this knowing it was going to be a pretty uh, fast-paced weekend. Um, you know, I think there's no getting around that when we're trying to do everything that we did um, in such a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, so I think overall, um, I think that worked out just great. Um, mm -hmm. Just to kind of go over like our schedule for the weekend. So we flew into Colorado Thursday night and then we flew home Sunday morning. So it was a pretty quick weekend. Um, we flew in, stayed at an Airbnb Thursday night. We did Garden of the Gods and got to see the Red Rocks Amphitheater concert Friday, stayed overnight at the Airbnb a second night, um, went to Rocky Mountain National Park on Saturday, stayed overnight at a hotel, and then flew home the next morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess all together, um, we did do a good bit of driving um, along the way too, um, which, you know, was definitely a lot of the time was in the car and stuff like that as well. Um, which for, I did not mind. I don't think any of us really minded yeah. because, like, you know, Colorado is just gorgeous. And oh, it's one yeah. of those places that even when you're in the car driving for two hours, like, there's just so much to look at and so much to just, like, quick stop, get a picture and just, mm -hmm. you know, see. Yeah. And then, I mean, even as you're just driving on the highway, it's, like, just openness and mountains everywhere so uh yeah definitely nothing to complain about there yeah. the airbnb that we stayed at was the alpine a-frame in idaho springs and we all knew that it was like ten thousand feet up in the air like you know we knew that there was just like this really neat hike that's like five minutes from the airbnb um and we were kind of knew that but i feel like none of us actually realized exactly what that meant yeah so we got in Friday night really late. It was dark, which I feel like the first thing was just like when we got out of the car and just like looked up in the sky. I, I have never seen anything like that before yeah. as far as the stars. And I mean, like I thought I've seen stars in the sky before and then <laughs> I just looked up and it was like nothing I could ever have imagined it looking like. I, I feel like when I see pictures of... Um, you know, like cool long exposures of stars and stuff like that. I always think like, oh, that's really cool. Um, almost like the whole Hubble telescope thing where they, <laughs> you know, shoot it in the middle of nowhere for such a long amount of time mm -hmm. and you get all this stuff. And I'm thinking that when you take a picture like that, that it's something that you can't actually see with yeah. your eyes. and the fact that I looked up and I'm like, wow, I've never seen a picture that even looks like this <laughs> yeah. uh, was was just so cool. Um, so, yeah, that was probably like the biggest thing that I was like, this is so cool. And yeah, it was like right off the bat. Yeah. And like, it was dark, which was just crazy because and, we didn't even we couldn't even see what our Airbnb yeah. looked like. We didn't see anything yet in Colorado because yeah. it was just dark. Just just the switchbacks going up the mountain yeah. and everything the whole way. Um, and and then yeah. and then the stars so yeah. yeah and then we stayed in the loft in the a-frame and there were just like um what is it called the There's little skylights yeah yeah so you could just like see the the stars there too and it was just so cool um but yeah so i guess when we got there we we didn't really think anything of the fact that we were up that high and then I think that evening, like all of us were just kind of like moving a little slow, <laughs> um, which by the way, we went with um, good friends of ours and um, they really like uh, switch foot and we really like need to breathe. So when we found out that they were both going to be at Red Rocks, <laughs> we, we made it happen. So it was the four of us and we were all just kind of like moving slow when we like got into the Airbnb. And then the next morning came around and I feel like we were all still moving slow, which oh, yeah. was so <laughs> weird. Like, I feel like even just moving to like get my bag or just to like go brush my teeth, like yeah. you just move slower. Mm -hmm. Like you felt that too, right? Oh, yeah. I definitely yeah, it was, felt it the hardest of the four of like, us. Like you just kind of run yourself out of breath just doing normal tasks, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, so 
we definitely could have done with more time to adjust to things. Um, that was definitely something that um, we would want to be doing differently. Um, yeah, I guess you're supposed to that, acclimate yourself yeah. to like that elevation before yeah. you actually start doing like activities. We, we went from like zero to five thousand to ten thousand within like yeah eight hours, a <laughs> couple hours, and. From, from the 5,000 to the 10,000 feet is like such a huge difference. Um, I've heard that like once you pass like seven or 8,000, like that's when like you actually, your body starts yeah. to feel a difference. And I definitely felt it, which I believe yeah. Garden of the Gods is around six or 7,000. I'd have to check. Hmm. But um, so I feel like that was better. But like where our Airbnb was, yeah. like it was like a 20 minute drive up the mountain. Yeah. Like it was like the town of Idaho Springs which is really neat, but then, like, you have to drive an additional, like, 20 minutes up this mountain, right. which is just, like, like Jensen said, like, so many switchbacks. You're just, like, it's super windy, and you're just, you're climbing, and then, like, you get up there, and it's just, it's so mm. high, and then the next morning rolled around, and we were all still feeling it, and there was this, like, five-minute hike that, um, you know, we had heard about that was, like, super close to the, yeah, to the A-frame. Uh, St. Helens Glacier. Yeah, and we were, like, super excited about that, and, you know, we, like, went to first see, like, the, the lake that was right there, and, like, that was really pretty, and then there was, like, another hike. So we were feeling optimistic about, like, heading over and doing the longer hike, but after just walking to the lake, I was, like, not yeah. feeling well already between, like, tiredness, altitude, all of that. Yeah, I think and we were I figured, all like, feeling it pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I was, like, we have a very long day ahead of us, so I feel like we all, four of us, mutually agreed that we would just head on to the Garden of the Gods. So we yeah. packed up our things and then drove to Garden of the Gods. Yeah, just, like, a few hours there, um, and it was a nice drive and everything, too, along the way. Um, but we got to see... A whole bunch there before heading back into uh, towards Denver again. Um, you know, we kind of went south towards Colorado Springs for Garden of the Gods, and then. Um, and it was so neat. Like for me, being back at Garden of the Gods was so neat. Like yeah. just you know, and, and you got to see it in the video. Like I was there when I was ten, and it was just it was cool being back. There was just different parts of that that I just had such clear memory of seeing, and then to be back again, and then like to yeah. to have Jensen be there too was just really neat. Yeah, and um, you know, from there we kind of. Like we did a little walk around and everything um, before before heading back, um, and from there we kind of went to the Morrison area where mm -hmm. uh, Red Rocks is, um, which is west of Denver. Um, and once we got there, like, I feel like we did not expect it to be such a like just a huge hike to get up to the top of Red Rocks. And well, do you even remember like when we were driving in, like the first time that we yeah. like spotted the amphitheater, like yeah. you could just like see it. You're like, oh my gosh, well, we've, I like, see the We've seen stage. the rocks and stuff like that. And yeah. you could see like just the exact formations that it's like, okay, the stage is just below that. Cause I feel like you can't even really see like the stage until you're really close, mm -hmm. but you can see like the rocks that are surrounding yeah. everything, which is really cool. Yeah, um, and then we parked and that's when we realized like, oh, it's a hike just to get to the yeah. bottom of the amphitheater. I feel like we were like, like we've seen the stairs mm. before, like, you know, by the amphitheater. We knew that if we wanted to get that top view, we were going to have to yeah. do a bunch of stairs. I didn't think about the fact that there were so many stairs just to get yeah. to the bottom of the amphitheater. Oh, it was, it was crazy. Um, and then, yeah, just the, just to get up to the top then was just like, wild yeah uh, so cool and exhausting uh <laughs> yeah but once we got up there it was so neat to be able to just look out and you could see denver mm -hmm. um in the skyline especially the as skyline it got Denver's darker and then too like you could just see the city oh, yeah. was like lit up it was really neat i feel like we got there good timing because we got to see like all the mountains and everything and as the concert then progressed like yeah. it got darker you got to see like the city lights of denver and like it was just so cool yeah and all the bands, uh, they sounded incredible. So, um, yeah, we were, I mean, it was just amazing to be there and and hear that, yeah. feel that with everybody. Uh, I mean, that was a bucket there. list item for yeah. us. Like a life yeah, bucket sure. list was to see Need to Breathe perform at the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Yeah. And we got to see it. And that was so cool. So after Red Rocks, we, uh, you know, made our drive back up the mountain. Um, <laughs> we were definitely more prepared I think that time um, to be up at the altitude 
Um, yeah, but, I didn't feel anything at that point yeah. really anymore, which was good. Yeah, it was definitely much easier then. But um, from there, we kind of, you know, took a slow morning at the Airbnb and um, kind of packed things up, um, got to head on and, you know, get everything in the car. And from there, we went to Rocky Mountain National Park. Mm. So that was just incredible too like i mean just the scale of the mountains and even getting into the park it took so <laughs> long to get there um so we did need to get uh reservations to get into the park the night before um so that was definitely a little bit of a stressful part of it um i think we ended up being able to get there um, were there was two like entrances that you yeah. had to reserve for because there was the like main there, entrance and yeah. then there was also the bear lake, bear lake. Yeah. yeah so bear lake's like basically the most popular part of rocky mountain and um to to get there you had to have a separate reservation and that's the one that of course sells out the quickest yeah. so we ended up uh, being able to get a later time slot for Bear Lake um, than the one we were originally planning mm. on. So we got a earlier one for the rest of the park that we were able to kind of mm -hmm. start in the rest of the park and then that worked head to. perfectly. Yeah. Like I think that we got in everything that we wanted to see. Yeah. Um, and then by the time it was open for our reservation spot for Bear Lake, it was the time that we were like ready to yeah. go see it anyways. And, and I think um, our recommendation there would kind of be like, just make sure that account is ready to go ahead of time because it was definitely very stressful. <laughs> uh, I think we were kind of, you know, preparing our account and everything to, 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 to use it for the first time as we were setting that up. And that's part of the reason we didn't get the earliest time slot we were yeah. hoping for. Rocky Mountain National Park was just gorgeous. Like that was my first time being there and it was just insane. Like I, I really enjoyed it. I loved that you could really just like stay in your car for a lot of it and just yeah. like drive around and then get out at stopping points. Like I feel like for our time crunch and where we were at, um, we didn't really want to do a lot of like hikes or like long things like that. So it was it was perfect that we could just drive around to different points. Um, and it was it was really nice and it was just gorgeous and yeah. I feel like we got a lot of good pictures and got yeah. some elk sightings in yeah. there and everything yeah that was that was definitely where we got we got the elk where we least expected them to um yeah we saw a few elk around the park itself but then as we were leaving the park was when we <laughs> ended up seeing like four million elk so approximately I've never seen that many elk in one area yeah. so close to me like was it say. was the elk like i was giddy i feel like my like natural reaction <laughs> took over the audio in that clip was just <laughs> pure <laughs> joy that yeah. was like my authentic pure joy and happiness yeah. because i was just like because i mean you're out there you're like i want to see some animals and then like seeing 20 like i don't even know i, I still need to count i think it was probably 20 to 25 was my estimate oh, there was more than that. you think yeah i need to go back and that. count it yeah. was so many and i was just like shrieking yeah and then everyone else moved on in the conversation and like 10 minutes later i'm still like guys the elk <laughs> i was like not over it at all yeah. it was so cool but then we went to the hotel and i feel like we just got rested up because then we needed to get onto the plane the next morning yeah and yeah. head back home. It was a good flight back. Um, and of course, nice to, to be home and uh, get some sleep. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah, we, we it slept took a, a couple lot. days to recover, honestly. Yeah, it did. But like, I'm so glad we did everything. And look, like, I still wish maybe it would have been nice to have like an extra day or mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. But it didn't work in our schedule to have an extra day or two. And in that sense, I wouldn't yeah. have changed anything we did. Like, yes, it was really tiring, but there, you know, I look, looking back at everything that we got done, I can't tell you what I would be okay, like removing from our yeah. schedule. Like, yeah, I'm really. so glad we did everything that we did and it was so good. Mm -hmm. So if you have the spot, even for a weekend, I would say you can learn from this is just, just take it. Like, yeah. Just take the opportunity and go and, you know, if you love it so much, you wish you could stay longer, then just plan another trip to go back. Yeah, really. 
Um, maybe no. do a little bit more research on how high you're going to be because yeah. <laughs> um, the alti altitude sickness, altitude adjustment is real. Yeah. So Here's your just, warning though. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it's not fun uh, going from zero to 10,000 feet in a few hours. <laughs> yeah. But besides that, and it still was such a good trip. So. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And gets me even more excited to go out west for three oh, yeah. weeks. There was yeah, a moment so. over the weekend that I just said to you, I was like, doesn't this just make you like so excited for out west? Yeah. And I think you like cut me off and you were like, no, I can't even talk about it. Like, yeah. I just want to go right now. And that just sums it up. I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Please like this video, subscribe for more because there is so much more travel content coming and I'm so excited about it. And I'm really excited to document it and for you to yeah. follow along. All right, until, until next, next time. time. <laughs> <laughs>